Hi, good morning everybody. Hello, happy Friday for those of you who are watching live. We'll give a moment for people to come on. It's 10 o'clock on Friday in March. And here we are. Don't forget about my footie. <laughs> with my little helper. And we're going to be doing some yoga today. My name is Heather Kamala. And we're going to do yoga. And we're going and, and the also, yoga starts with Mama Stay. <laughs> and we're going to be doing some yoga and also some art activities. So art activities if you get you my hand. There you go. Alright. Mr. Goofy will come along and do some drumming in a little bit. And that will be amazing. Let's put the drum wherever he Maybe wants to Maybe tomorrow if you put the drum in your side because that's how I will stay my father, oh. Mr. Worm. All right, well, uh, I'm gonna go and get a cup of water. I'll be right back while, while my friend talks to you. <laughs> so, I know, hi everybody. So, I know I lost my car and I locked it in. So, I left my keys and my wallet inside there. And then, you know, we went, we had to go to the next neighbor and then, you know, that could happen. <laughs> All right, shall we get started today? I think so, but they can't see you, but they can hear your voice. Oh, okay, hold on. So I leave for Mama. The things that everything must go. Mama, stay, or should you say, Mama, stay? Oh, makes it so many times that I'm mad at you all. Somebody. 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 Oh, I hear some guitar. Hello, everybody. Uh, hi, I see Christina's here. Tina from uh, area of Ireland. Welcome, welcome. Christina from area of California. Mwah. Welcome to everybody. We're going to get started. I wanted to show you guys first that I have this really cool deck of cards. Today is day five in our, in our live circle time. And I'm so, so glad that you guys are here to listen to this. This is the deck of cards that I've been talking about. And we have these really wonderful, all these different yoga poses that are the yoga rhymes. Can you guys believe it? I finally did it. And they're on my website, ketokidsyoga.com. Oh, hello, hello, Harper and Hudson, hello. Send me the names of your kids if you want me to give them a shout out to the other people too and or not and oh mr worm is here and mr goofy is here we have everybody ready to do some yoga with you and we're going to start with a little bit of dancing are you guys ready to dance stand up all right mr worm okay everybody stand up and stretch up to the top of the sky and see if you can reach the ceiling of your house even jump up to reach the ceiling of your house and then go down 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 and like that yeah now go up 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 and reach the top reach the top and go down 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 and reach the bottom all right we're gonna do some dancing now and you want to play a little bit of drums? We'll do dancing with your drum? Sure. Okay. <clears throat> Oops. Sorry. All right. Now, we're going to do two different sides. So if you look at your body this side and look at your body this side, okay? So here we go. Ready? Uh-huh. 
looking at the message. Oh, Cedar Lulu, hi! <laughs> That's wonderful, yay! Thank you everybody for showing up. I show up and you show up, thank you. I'll keep showing up if you keep showing up. <sighs> okay, now, do you remember that we've been telling the story about the horse, Uma? And I'm gonna show you guys the dance of Yee Uma. And it goes like this. Run, run, run. That's the...
Namaste, little one. Namaste. Or, uh, as Martine says, Mama stay. And all the big one, all the way down. And even, when we're, even when we're doing that, we're still stretching, stretching, stretching our legs. How about let's put the other foot on top, if you can do that. You can put it up high or you can put it down low, your choice. And then we're going to stretch, stretch, stretch. Ooh, that feels so good. Say, wake up, body. Wake up, body. <laughs> Yay. All right. Now, let's see. Reach up high, high, high. Can and I'm stretching the whole. Can we do a chair stand? A chair stand, please. Sure, just a minute. And all the way to the other side. We have a request for some chair yoga. And we're going to reach up to the other side and all the way down. Now, if you were a horse and these were your, your, clump, your clumpers, your hooves, you could go like this. Like that, right? And then what would you say if you were a horse? <laughs> so we could be doing some horse yoga today. Balancing on this side, balancing on that side. And then when the horse goes to sit down, hold on, I have to see who just came on. Lucy! Hi, Lucy! We miss you so much! Oh my gosh! Harper's here too and Hudson and on this watching this video too. You guys are all watching together. All right. And Martina's here doing yoga with me and we're using these, our special cards. All right. So today I think that we're going to do some standing poses and let's get together and can you do it and clap, clap, clap and slap. Wait, wait, I said it wrong. Sorry. Start over. Slap, slap, slap and clap, clap, clap and snap, snap, snap or just tap your fingers and tap, tap, tap. Let's do it a little again. We're going to go one, two, three. And one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three. Now a little bit faster. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. A little bit faster. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. How are you guys doing? <laughs> oh, that's fun. That's a fun way to wake up the brain. Now we're waking up the body, waking up our brain. Say hello, body. Good morning, lovely body. All right, we are going to go right into our wonderful standing poses. But wait, first, we didn't do our deep breathing. So hold on, I have to go get my essential oils. Hold on, everybody. Okay, everyone on different channels, I lost my car. You know about that story. <laughs> you about that whole <laughs> All right, everybody, let's see. Send your oils for me, too. Oh, Harper says hi to Lucy. I like that. And Crystal says hi. Thank you, everybody. All right. The oils that we're going to use today is our favorite oil that we call cake. All right. Oh, and I see somebody's ready for it. This one, it's the, t the label says Young Living Stress Away, but we call it cake. Why? Because it has vanilla. So one little drop. And we're going to put on the palm of my friend. And this. Oh, I hear some music in the background. What is that? Oh, that's a delicious oil and very safe for children. All right. Lucy says hi to Harper and hi to everyone. Thank you, Lucy. Thank you. We're going to have fun today. And parents, just note that if you wanted to, I have posted something on this Facebook uh, page, which is a print printable for today. So there's two pages so we can make a book. If you choose to print like that, if not, then we're going to find a way to make a book with that. We're gonna need paper and uh, maybe staple or tape and some markers, crayons, pencils, whatever. So get ready with your supplies. When we're done, that's gonna be at 10.30. All right, here we go. So we're going to sit again, our crisscross applesauce. Crisscross oh, applesauce, we and we're going to get some yummy stuff. Actually, of health and 
with essential oils, and I have a wonderful book that explains about that. So if you're interested in essential oils, I'm your oils lady. Last one. Breathe in deeply. Yummy. Nice. All right. Now we're going to get up and move. Are you guys ready? Stand up and ready to move. Yep. And then, oh, we have somebody licking, licking his yummy oils. We are going to do our amazing practice of sun salutation. Do you guys remember we did this on, I think, Wednesday? Yes. Sun salutation. Let's do it again. We have 12 numbers. Are you ready for 12 numbers? Number one, hands at your heart. Mama say. <laughs> Mama say. And then we are going to put our pointer all the way up in the air and look up, that's number two, and reach up like as if somebody was pulling your arms up. And then come down, 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 and all the way down. We're not stopping at our heart. We're going all the way down, 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 and wake up the worm. That's number three. Wake up the worm. Wow, 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 wow. And then after that, we're going to make sure that you can put your legs back behind you because we're going to put our legs back and for the stick, that's number four. Oh wait, I messed up. Hold on, go back to number two. And then number three is the, we're going to open our legs like this for the frog. I forgot about that one. That's number three, the frog, yep. And then we're going to jump up. Are you guys ready? One, and two, and three, and four. Woo, that's a lot of jumping. And I'm gonna take my sweater off. I feel I'm getting warm already. You can take your sweater off too if you want to. So that was number three. And then number four, we're gonna put our legs back. Now I'm ready. Now I'm ready to put my legs back like that, all the way back. And then we're gonna go down, 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 down. And then the snake. So what number was that? I... <laughs> Okay, hold on one second. I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, everybody. I know I got my car lost. And oh, it's sorry. a good day, so. Con eso, esto. Vamos a enseñar esto. Ok, ahora vamos a hacer esto. How about 
Christina and your family. Hello! The wolves are awake and now here we go. We're going to go to number eight and we're going to come up, up, up and show me that your bat goes like this. Ooh, up like that all the way, up like that all the way and then your legs pop up and that's called downward dog. Nice. Downward dog is number eight and we're going to, we're going to run like dogs. Run, 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 run. And then we're going to, we're going to bring one foot to the front and lunge like dogs. Lunge, lunge. Very nice. Ooh, feels good just to sit and stretch there too. And that is our downward dog. And then that was number eight. Do you see that one? Number eight. And then the next one, oh, it's I see Harper and Hudson were howling. Lucy was howling. Yay. Good, good, good puppies. Good puppies. And then number nine, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go all the way from where we were in our dog. And then we're just going to, guess what? Put your knees down. And we're going to put your knees down and pull your hands back, just like you're trying to sit down. But you're not sitting down. You're not. I'm not. I'm pulling forward, pulling forward. And then show me your claws. Rawr. Rawr. Like that. Cedar and Lulu, were you howling too? Oh my goodness, so many kids here with us today. I'm so lucky, I feel so lucky. I'm the luckiest tiger in the world. Rawr, rawr, like that. That's Ariana's favorite, right? And where's Greta and where's Amelia too? Oh my goodness, and Gus and Marco. Where's all my friends? Rawr, that's tiger talk for what? looking for my family. Rawr, and then, Margo. And, and then we're gonna put our hands down flat. And then we're gonna pump it up. So here we go, ready? We're gonna pump it up. So it's gonna be one, pump it up two, and we're gonna jump our feet. That's why we can't be too close here. Oh, there was a little glitch. So we jumped up. Did you see us jump? Did you guys jump too? And now our, we're in a little squatting position like a little rabbit, right? And that's number 10. And now we're gonna clap our hands. So if you're four years old, clap four times. If you're two, <laughs> clap two times. If you're three, clap three times. And if you're zero, clap nobody. Yeah, then you can't clap if you're zero. <laughs> and so here we go, clap, clap, clap. And together, clap, clap, clap. And now we're going to hold our fist like this. Do you like see? Rocky. Hold. Not yet, but that's a good one too. And then we're going to open. You see, I'm not sitting down. Can we're going start? to open, and you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go all the way from number 10 to number 11, which is we're gonna go all the way up again. And it looks like this. Clap, open, and spray the rainbow water. What color? What color? Hello. What color? Oh, that's right. And spray yourself with a rainbow. Spray your house with a rainbow. No, can we do a chair side? Hold on, hold on. I'm not done with this one. Uh, first, finish your sun salutation. Stand up. Stand up. We're almost done. Look, we're at number 11. And now, and then put your hands, clap up to the top. Last one is number 12. I said we have 12. We're coming Again. down to our heart. Mm -hmm. And we're stopping here, like the elevator Eight. stopped. Mama, stay. Uh huh. Let me Mama and stay. then we're going to come all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, like an elevator stopping your heart, or like the stairs. Chook, 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 chook. Stop at this floor that's called the floor of the heart. And ready? Now we're ready. Say it, Martin. Mama, stay. Yeah, namaste. It's mama stay, not mama stay. <laughs> okay. And that, you guys, congratulations. You did the sun salutation. And you guys Sometimes can people do it a hundred times over and over again. Can you imagine how tired you would be? Do you feel tired right now after doing it just one time? So that was number 12. I am love. Namaste. That's what it says. I am love. Woo! All right. We finished our sun salutation and now it's almost time to go do our art project already. Oh my goodness. Are you guys ready with your supplies? We're going to do a little bit of sitting down. Sit, 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 sit. And feet together, butterflies, knees down low. Nose to your stinky toes or your sweet toes. Let's see. Hmm. Oh! My toes smell sweet like essential oil. My toes, Yay! My toes smell like... My toes... His my toes smell like chocolate peanut butter. No, my toes... <laughs> what? My, my toes smell like... Like old cheese. Oh my goodness.
goodness, that's awful. <laughs> okay, and now we're going to get out our spiders. Do you guys remember this one? Make sure your seats stay glued down. And we're going to walk our spiders. Wait, get together. We're going to walk our spiders all the way here, here, here. Now, people that are under three usually just go flat on their face all the way to the front, not to hurt themselves, but they usually just go full prostrate. But people that are older, I black they know, oh, they know that they stay seated and then they get a beautiful stretch on their back. Do you feel your back, everybody? Okay, head down. Yeah. Wonderful. Go. Wonderful spiders and wonderful children. A now, wonderful vitamin C. Oh, yeah, that's your favorite, huh? Okay, so now hands on your knees and push down and push down, but very gently. And how about show me your rock, 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 rock. I have two rocks, but what? You got it. I know how to be gentle. My kids know that one. They know that one really well. And so we're going to massage. We're going to massage the little squishy parts. I'm not going to hit hard. No, it's very gentle. Nice. And then how about on the back too? Very gentle. There you go. Yeah. He, Martina's doing super gentle. Okay. And now let's do a little bit more before we stop. Can we do a little, just a little dance, like five minutes or less, so no, they can jump. Can sure. Yeah. Oh, and then Martina's reminded me of the chair yoga. So, so. He's right, he's right, let's do that one. So if you have a little chair, or even if you have a wall, you could go up the wall if you're, there. here's my chair right here, you can see that one. And basically what Martine wanted to do is that when we were doing our downward dog, that we're going to actually uh, step up on the chair. It's a little tiny chair, so I'm just going to step up here and be careful. Are you being careful? Heather, if you if you are a little kid and you 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 can stick a little bit of your feet in your hole in that hole, uh, yeah, you can you stick could. a little bit of it. But if you but if it's like this, yeah. you can only stick your toes in. Oh, okay. So how we're doing it is that we're going. Let's say, for example, if I'm going down, down, down like this. How did I start? I started standing up. And then I'm going to bend over, bend over, bend over, and then put my hands, bend my knees, and then maybe I could step up on top of the chair like that. That's what Martine wanted to do. How does that feel to you guys? Crazy? It's Sometimes at my school we do where we go up on the wall. It feels a little like bit. you're. We have to be careful of it that. It feels one too. like you're lying down in a trampoline. Ah, very nice. All right, now let's close our little circle because Felipe or Mr. Goofy is going to do some music. So hold on. Um, actually, Felipe, you're going to come over on this side. Remember we yeah, said that yeah, yesterday? Yeah. So come on in a minute. Okay, ready, guys? Here we go. Crisscross applesauce, sit in half lotus. And we say, what a beautiful house. Who knows this rhyme? So full of what? Sun! Yay! Let all that beautiful sunshine in. And we say hands together. Bring it down, down, down the elevator, down the stairs. And we say this house is fun. And this is Namaste. Mama stays. Yeah, Mama stay. And also Nana stays. And we do a little bow with our head, or if you do a big bow, put your hands down. And here, oh, who's that? Who's that? Everybody would like for you to meet. Uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hi, Lucy. We love you so much. Mwah. We love you so hola, much. Hola, hola. Que se recuerda? Uh -huh. Remember this instrument. Who remembers? Remember? What is it called? I think so. It's time for Mr. Yeah. Goofy or or Felipe. And what's this? And what's this? Where's your hat, Mr. Goofy? Oh, it's in the... Okay, in the hold side. on. He needs his hat. Yeah. You're gonna jump, you're gonna dance a little bit. This is how we do it. Go slow, high and down. Slow, high and down. Can I try Okay, that? Mr. Yeah. Goofy has to change, so hold on. Okay. You can't see him for a minute. It's actually a surprise. Let's count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, keep counting, seven, 
You guys are gonna jump a little bit. This is how we do it here. Okay, okay. Right. Oh, you wanna do it just like that? Okay. Right. That's fine. Ready? Puedes darle vuelta a El tambor del otro lado. Yeah. Martin, puedes darle vuelta Okay. Ready? You're gonna jump. We're gonna jump up to 10 to start. Okay, okay. ready? Uno, dos, y tres. Next time we're gonna do more. Do you Just wanna do you wanna hear one more song from Mr. Goofy? Let's see a thumbs up if you wanna see one more song from Mr. Goofy. Oh, I see one. <laughs> Yay! Woo! Applause! Applause! 
very happy with our circle. And I don't, you guys maybe couldn't see Martine, but he was rocking it. All of that tambourine was Martine. Yeah, he's really talented. High five, little okay, brother. Ese es el momento Ooh, de alto. Okay, he said the moment to stop of our music. We're going to do music again on Monday, don't forget. But right now we still have a whole extra fun time of art activities. <laughs> oh, yay! And Dahlia, woo! Thank you. That was super fun. Thank you, Chiesan and Dahlia and everybody who is dancing, all the kids all around the world, we're together, we're together, we're together. All right, so now we're gonna go over to our green table. Remember our green table? And what are we going to do? We're going to do a fun art project that has to do with animals. All right, I better get my sweater back on. Put my sweater back on. I got really sweaty, but I wanna stay warm. Still a little bit cold outside. How about where you guys are? Is it cold? Okay, mucho papa. Okay, now we're gonna go over. I'm gonna get my sweaters on. My sweater, my slippers. How are you doing, everybody? All the grown-ups and all the kids. I'll tell you, I wake up in the morning. What? You don't have a wife. You're five years old. What happened? Did I did I wake up in a different land? Yes, you did. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, sorry sorry guys that I'm making all this like bumpy bumpy. I'm actually, we're at the very first week of our amazing live circle times. And I'll tell you, I just had, a, a, I had a, in, an insight and then I just went for it. Monday, I just said, boom, we're going to do live circle time. And I wasn't ready and I did it anyway because I knew that um, it would be helpful, right? Helpful to you, helpful to Martine, Helpful to Dahlia, helpful to, to Lucy, helpful to Harper, help for, helpful to Hudson, helpful to, to kids in Ireland, helpful to kids in Japan, helpful to Cedar, helpful to Lulu, helpful to, to um, Crystal's kids, helpful to Eileen's kids, and all of the wonderful families, helpful to Christina's kids, Oh my goodness, everybody, this is gonna be so super helpful. Now, today is Friday. You know, when we're doing uh, circle times in our preschool, which this is, uh, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Doitoshimashita. And so when we're doing our circle time, I usually talk about the five days of the week. And this is how our weeks go at school, right? Because we go to school Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Today is Friday, that's the pinky finger. And every day has a special fun thing that we do. And so now we can just do it with you guys too. And I'll keep doing it for as long as I can, all right? There was a little printout that I gave everybody and Martine hasn't seen it yet, so cha-ta! Mama. Yep. And cha cha, Mama. <laughs> All right. You know what? I think that we need some water. So hold on one moment. Everybody, go drink your water. I'll be right back. Okay, on, Mama. Okay, we're just gonna. Going to okay, we're just gonna chat up. I know I lost my car, and yeah, we already talked about that star when I lost my car, but. Okay, there's your water, Martine. Okay. And then my water, I had it here a minute live thing. I was talking to somebody yesterday and they were suggesting that we do also a live thing on YouTube. But YouTube? for now, here we are. You mean YouTube or YouTube? YouTube. That's what I did. 
Oh, I see, I see you, Lucy. I see you'd like to drink water and milk. I'm drinking my tea. Here are my preschool kids know that every day they have to wait until teacher finishes her tea. I love peppermint. That's my favorite, favorite tea. What is this? That is a cave or a mountain. All right, everybody. It, Remember our Keto Kids Yoga cards, you can buy decks on, our, on my website. But the only problem, it takes a couple of weeks for me to get them. <laughs> That's okay. Let's see. Let's see. Also, I should have just a digital download. I'll be thinking about that. There's so many little things to do, you know, and we have the good, good energy to get, to get a lot of stuff done. Okay. Let's see. What time is it? It's 1045 and we have some good time now to do our art project. Martine requested some markers and here they are. Thank you. You're very welcome. I was about to say thank you for the nasuke. Oh, yeah, you could thank them too. When we're coming back on Monday, I just wanted to let you all know. First of all, I've been thinking about it, and Martine actually insisted that I make a schedule for next week. I wanted to let you guys know that. Martine is very much of my assistant, and he's telling me that I need to make a schedule for next week of what videos we're going to do what are we going to do it about it was very impressive and we could see like organizational skills starting at age five which is fabulous 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 and so i will be posting some stuff over the weekend here at this same facebook um page so parents know and just um to let you know what we're going to be doing this coming week so you can be prepared how about that yeah instead of last minute uh postings yeah so this week was just the starter week you know everything just getting started so if you had the possibility of printing out the sheets that one of them looks like this that's the homes of the animals and this one is the animals themselves let's see who do we have here who's what's that that's bunny. right it's a bunny it's a rabbit and how about this what is that lemongrass Raccoon. That's a raccoon. Very good. And how about this little squirrel. cutie squirrel? Uh huh. Polar bear. Uh huh. And a polar bear. He got that. Yeah. Very good. And so it could be also just a regular bear. I know it's white, but you can color it, uh, even rainbow colors if you want to. Now, if you don't have those, and that's absolutely fine, what we're going to do is we're going to draw. Like kids in my school know, I love to draw. And I love to teach kids how to draw. So get out a piece of paper. Let's see what paper should we use. Okay, here's a piece of paper. Oops, that's not the right piece of paper. Look at that one I grabbed. <laughs> it was the one from the markers. Uh, well, I call markers, like the place markers for our game. <laughs> and that even had Lucy's on there. Lucy, were you power flower or, but or were, were you butterfly sparkle? Oh my goodness gracious. We have so much fun here at school. Okay, I need a blank piece of paper, people. Let's see. Let's see if I can pull it out. Bring. Ah, blank. Very good. Now, I always have extra paper, and I have lots of markers. This is teacher's bag. Remember teacher's bag? Has all the supplies that I need. You only remember mama's bag. Ah, from mama stay. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to draw... I would like to teach you guys how to draw a rabbit, all right? So those of you who did print these out, you could start to color them, okay? And if you want to later, you can always print them out later and color them. And if you can't print them out, just write to me, message me, and I will send them to you in the mail. How about that? Haha. -ha. There's something for everybody. And so... If you have these pages printed out, you can start to color them. And what this activity is, it could be different things. It could be a book. You could put it together and fold it in half and make a book. If you put the, hold on one second. If you put them like that, which is one on this side, one on that side, and then you fold it, then it would become a book, right? That's the homes and these are the animals. Or another thing that you could do is that you could cut it in half or fold it in half and put it here 
There's a lot of things you could do. You could put it here together like that and glue it. And then you could draw a line to the animal that goes to which home. Where does, let's see, I have to move the words. Okay, there we go. What color are raccoons? Where does the rabbit live? Where do you think the rabbit lives? In the tree? No. In the hole. Very good. Yep. The rabbits live down in the hole. And I actually have uh, three rabbits, and two of them have dug very deep holes for themselves. So when it gets cold, they know what to do. And then the, the raccoon, where do you think the raccoon lives? Where do you think, Martine? Where do you guys think the raccoon lives? Ah, in the old stump. Mmm, yes. And how about the squirrel? Where do you think the squirrel lives? Ah, in the tree. And what about the bear? Rawr. Yep, the bear is going to walk, walk, walk past the rabbit, past the raccoon, past the squirrel, and go into the cave in the mountain. Very good. So that's the animals' homes. Today being Friday, we call Science Friday. Isn't that fun? Monday is yoga. Tuesday is social studies or just wonderful uh, um, activities about treats cafe, family, all that fun stuff. Wednesday, that's alphabet and letters and language. Uh, Thursday, numbers, counting, building. And Friday, science. So here we are on Friday and we're going to, uh, if you don't have these sheets, please don't worry. We're going to draw a rabbit. Who wants to draw a rabbit? Yeah. Oh, sorry, one more thing. If you have this sheet, and Martine, I'm telling you too, if you want to, you can actually cut out the animals and glue them where they live. That that's was my idea. Oh, for real? Okay, okay, good job, good job. Okay, so that's, that's the description of the printable, or the printout, and now we're going to learn how to draw. If you have a pencil and you have a piece of paper, then you can follow me. I'm going to use this beautiful big chunky pencil that was gifted to me by by Amelia's um, auntie. Thank you. And I'm going to get an eraser because we make mistakes and we like to start over. So the, I don't know if you could see my page here. I'm going to bring the camera down a little bit more. There we go. There we go. All right, good. And I'm going to draw first. I'm going to do a big rabbit, okay? It's going to take up the whole page. Why? So that you guys can see it. First, we're going to do the head that looks like an egg. Isn't that funny? The head looks like an egg. You see that? Aha! Uh -huh. So draw that first. And then the next thing, you're going to draw the body. And the body looks kind of like a rock. So I'm going to go like a rock. And if you just draw a circle for the body, that's fine too. Oh, that's too light. You can't see it proper. Okay. Now, you know what I love? If you guys later send me a picture of your artwork, can you do that? That would be awesome. That would be so awesome. Okay, so there we have it. Now, do you see the body of the rabbit? And you see the head of the rabbit? Now, the ears. And the ears are actually gonna look like two carrots. Do you think we can do that? One carrot and two carrots two carrots so the head of an egg or the egg, the head looks like an egg the ears look like two carrots the body looks like a rock what kind of rabbit is this anyway lemongrass <laughs> could be lemongrass and then honestly if i just stop right there what do you think remember our thinking game lucy remember which one the thinking game is where you get to see only half and then you have to guess what it is but since you already saw it then we'll do that on um on this coming week we'll do more of the thinking game so there you have it three things but wait a minute what's missing what's missing martine um the legs and the face and the cute little ooh, 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 ooh. pom pom tail yeah pom pom <laughs> he said pom pom okay so let's first do what did he say he said the legs so the legs are going to look like little biscuits. <laughs> the kids love it when I'm, I'm making this up as I go. The kids know, like I'm just, we do spontaneous stuff. Okay, here's a little biscuit. Two little biscuits in the front. Are those two little biscuits? All right, you got that? And two little biscuits on what, the back? 
looks more like hmm, little biscuits. <laughs> the back looks more like the letter L, like Lucy. The back looks like the letter L. It's kind of going down and like this. That is the back foot. Yep. And then the last one, oh, he said the face. Well, the nose is going to be a triangle. So we're going to go, it's actually an upside down triangle. Can you see that? Upside down triangle, good. And then the eye can be a rainbow. Doot, doot. A rainbow. The rainbow can I eye. See? I can't see. Mm hmm. The rainbow eye. And then a little mouth. Okay, so the mouth tells a lot. The eyes and the mouth tell if they're happy or they're sad or they're mad. So, based on how you draw it, you could, if you wanted to do that, the rabbit, I'm going to erase that eye and I'm going to say that the rabbit had an owie. Oh, ouch. Do you see that? The rabbit accidentally bit his tongue when he was eating a carrot. But I think I'm going to erase that one. Yeah, erase that one. That one is But nice. maybe was the was the was the rabbit sad? The rabbit was sad and said hmm. like that, maybe sad or sleepy. Ooh. And so that's like the letter U. You see? Sorry, could you see that? Okay, but let's go back to our original one that was the rainbow. I just wanted to show you with my eraser. And so there's the happy one, the happy rabbit. Actually, that's too close to the front. It was back a little bit more like here. Okay, that's better. So that's the happy rabbit. And now how about the mouth? The mouth will show something. So if I do a mouth like this, what does that look like? Martin, what do you see? I see... The mouth is... Oh, a circle. A half circle. Yes, and what do you think the rabbit is feeling? Oh. Surprise. Yeah, that's right. That mouth looks like... Oh, or surprise. Scared. Or scared. Okay, okay, yeah, because a rabbit could get scared. And how about this uh, mouth? What? Hold on, I have to erase it properly. How about that mouth? Now what is the rabbit feeling? How about you, Martine? Do you think that the rabbit is still surprised? Mm, no. What is the rabbit now? Happy. Doo -doo. Okay, we're going to leave the rabbit like that. Happy and... because it's going to play video games. <laughs> oh, no. Rabbits don't do that. They, they just meditate all day <laughs> and run around. Okay, now we're going to do the tail. And the tail is... The tail is a strawberry. What? Mm-hmm. A tail is a strawberry? Front, Chips. No, I said biscuits. Biscuits. I'm sorry. Front biscuits. paws it are biscuits. The tail is a what? Strawberry. Yeah, and the, the tail back is leg. The pom -pom, the pom -pom. A pom pom, he said. But I, I said, that's what you said. I said a different thing. And the leg looks like the letter L, like Lucy. All right, everybody. So, hmm, we didn't have the letter H like Harper though, huh, Harper, or Hudson. We didn't have the letter L, well, L, it could be Lulu too. We didn't have the letter C, like Cedar. <laughs> or like Peter. Or how about, well, everybody little by little, send me your letter and I'll draw you pictures that has your letter in it. And by the way, people, since you guys are so dedicated in watching this live video, if you send me a message and you say, this is the name of my child, I will draw a picture, especially for your child. I will do that. All right? Okay, I said it. All right. To the people who are watching live, now we're going to color it in with black ink. Hmm. Should I use black ink? I think I'll use black ink, and then it can become a coloring page. And then I can send it to you guys. You can say, hey, I was with Heather when she drew that. I really like the Tombow markers that have one side that's, that's a brush and the other side that is a, a felt tip. All right? So I'm going to, or should I use my number five? Should I use my zero five micron or 
should I use my number one micron? I was kind of liking my number one micron yesterday. It's very thick. It's again, it's a felt tip. Okay, I think I'm going to use this one. Ready, everybody? Have fun drawing. Oh, and while uh, we're almost done, but uh, I almost forgot. I have the rest of my story for you guys. Where is it? Oh, here it is. I stayed up a little bit later last night, and I finished another chapter of this story. It's just work in progress. This is Uma and the Crystal Balls. So let me draw in this picture first. You can watch me draw it. The face. The body. The little claws, because rabbits do have claws. And by the way, rabbits can be very fierce. You have to be careful. One time my boy rabbit, he bit me. That really happened. Like a biscuit. Yeah, I was not a biscuit, but he thought I was. Or he was just trying to protect himself. Or he thought you were going to hurt him, but you weren't. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I mean, I think maybe he was hungry and he just... He just quickly... Like you were a gingerbread man? Or gingerbread woman? Yeah. <laughs> okay, there we have it. I drew it in. I like... Isn't that fun? So I will send this to you guys um, in the way of... What? California. Uh, in the way of... Um, Centipedes. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna post it to this Facebook page. All right, so that's that for now. And while you guys are finishing up your rabbits or you whatever might, you chose to do today, even if you just you want to watch me, maybe you can do a me, photocopy. I could, I could, and I can do something which is called scanning, which makes it go into the computer. And you know how, like you were talking about video games, how they have all the pictures on the screen. Yeah. Well, how did they get those pictures in the screen? That's an interesting question. The people who made those are artists, and they had to draw too. They had to draw pictures of people and houses or ships or whatever. And blasters too, because yeah, could the, be yeah. I wonder which which scientists like like to like to make a vid like to to make a video of Star Wars. I wonder. Well, probably a lot of scientists are very interested in that because it's called science fiction. And girls are not interested in Star Wars. Oh, wait a minute. Back up. Ooh, rewind. I started watching Star Wars with my brother in 1977, was it? Yes, that's right. Okay, let's move on to the next thing. Girls do like Star Wars, Bubba. They do, they do. And Yesterday. they like blasters? Sometimes I don't, but... Ava doesn't. Is. Oh, okay, but she's not all the girls in the whole world. How about let's read our story? I, you have really good questions, though, but we're almost finished. Look, it's almost 11 o'clock. I have, here, it looks like I have one more minute. I have two very good questions. But can you hold on a second and give me okay. a chance? Okay, we're going to take turns. So he had a turn to talk, and now it's my turn to talk. This is Uma and the Crystal Balls, and I don't have any pictures yet, but they will be coming. Thank you. And so do you remember that we talked about Uma the horse, and we talked about Lemongrass the rabbit. Do you guys remember that? What? Aha, uh -huh. okay. And do you remember ye Uma to the right? Run, run, run. Ye Uma to the left. Run, run, run. Twirl around so gracefully. Uh huh. Twirl again. Now face me. Do you want to cut out these animals and glue no. them to the other side? No, you don't want to do that. Okay. <clears throat> So we did that part. Okay. And so then remember that Uma got shy. And then do you remember that we talked about the feathered, the rainbow feathered nest and how there was all those eggs in there? And do you remember the, I do have this visual, the big egg gathering. And then yesterday, Martin, did you take yours home? You took yours home? Okay, he made one of these too, which that was really fun. We decorated all these little paper eggs and we glued them on. That was super fun to do. Oh, and then do you remember that the four balls in the middle are not eggs at all? They are crystal balls and they each have a special power. And do you remember that we talked about in our other day? We talked about the special power. Who remembers the special power of the crystal ball of earth? Flower power. Who remembers the 
the um, special power of the crystal ball of air, the white one. That is the power of good smells. That is a very special power. Who remembers the who remembers the the crystal ball of fire? Martine, do you remember the crystal ball of fire? What is the special power? Bravery. That's right, to be brave because that that was a whole other fun story. And then the crystal ball of of water. That's the blue one. And the crystal ball of water. Do you, do you guys remember the special power? To wash away dirt and bad feelings. So if you feel mad or if you feel sad or frustrated and something that you just don't feel or even if you have a lot of dirt on your hands and you want to just wash your hands, think about the crystal ball of water and how we can wash away all that yucky stuff. So that's what we that's where we stopped yesterday in our story. Do you guys want to hear some more of the story? Okay, here we go. I have to look for it. All right. So Uma the horse was born in that same meadow. But many, many years later, the same meadow where all the four, um, the four marbles formed and then they formed into crystal balls that became as big as two hands. Way, way, way long time before, that's how the meadow looked. It was just all sand and dirt. There was no trees and no grass in the meadow or anything. But little by little, the trees grew, the grasses grew, the the what else the flowers grew that's right and then there came animals and bugs and all kinds of beautiful creatures and right there was born a little colt and the little colt that means a very small horse a baby horse is a colt and that one was named what uma sometimes in my school we say yi uma and so Uma actually means horse in Japanese, right, Chiesan? Okay, right, Dahlia? All right. So he grew into a little colt right there where the trees now reached up to the sky. Can you reach up high to the sky? The beautiful meadow was filled with all the flowers and the grasses, and it smelled so delicious, just like our delicious flowers of essential oils. So after the big egg gathering was done, Right after the big egg gathering, when Uma came back home, you know what he said? You are reaching up. Okay, other side too. Reach up to the sky like the tree. Like my I know, but remember, you're gonna let me read. It's my turn now. It's like when you're at the library and the teacher is reading, and then they have to finish their book, and then later you can talk. Okay, so pretend this is like the library. So, oh yay, Dahlia! Woohoo, Dahlia Chan! Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. <laughs> and so. So you know about Uma, right, Talia? And so when Uma came back, went back home, you know what she said? She said, Papa, Papa, please tell me the story of the four crystal balls and the rainbow feathered nest. And you know what Uma's Papa said? You never grow tired of hearing this story. And he was gonna tell, that was the Papa horse was going to tell Uma the Yi Uma, the, the child horse, the story of how the crystal balls were formed. How did they, how, where did they come from? All right. And how was the nest made? So let's see. I'm going to read you guys one more chapter and then you have to come back on Monday to hear more. So here's what Papa Uma, Uma's Papa said. Your great, great, great grandfather horse was friends with Mama Frog. She knew the story of the merfolk because the fish who travel from the ocean to the river told her. Mama Frog told the story like this. Sarita, the girl snake, remember that from yesterday? Uh -huh. Lived in our meadow a long time ago. Her family's home was a nest with holes that went down into the earth, just like where how rabbits live, snakes live like that too. Sarita slithered around the nest. Sss, can you make the sound of a snake? Sss, slithering, slithering down under the earth. And so Sarita 
slithered around the nest playing with her brothers and sisters. Their favorite game was hide and seek. Do you guys like to play hide and seek? They had a lot of places to hide. One day, after a delicious breakfast of, what do snakes eat? Hmm. Little stuff. Little stuff? Do snakes eat bugs? Do snakes eat, hmm. So after their delicious breakfast, they started the day's game of hide and seek when um, Sarita found a new hiding spot. Ooh, where was that? This hole, this new hiding spot went deeper than usual. It was really, really deep. Sarita thought, my brothers and sisters will never find me here. As she was slithering down the hole, going deeper and deeper and deeper. Guess what happened? She bumped her head on something hard and cold and round. Ouch, said the cold round thing. Ooh. Sarita said, who are you? The round thing said, I am the yellow crystal ball of the earth. Sarita had never met such a creature. <gasps> she blinked. Can you blink? She blinked to focus her eyes in the dark. Uh, uh, uh. She blinked. Sss. Sure enough, the round thing was yellow with swirls of gold. Sarita was curious. Where did you come from? She asked. The crystal ball of earth told Sarita the story of how it was formed over a long time. And we said we told that story yesterday and how Mr. Worm had helped to build the home for the crystal ball of earth. Remember that Mr. Worm built that? Mm -hmm. After such a long time, it said it would like to see what daylight looked like. The crystal ball of earth wanted to go up, wanted to go up, up, up to see light because it had only ever been down in the earth. It just stayed there the whole time. What? What's going to happen? How is it going to get up? Let's see. So the crystal ball, um, so the crystal ball also wanted to meet its other family members. It wanted to meet the crystal ball of, of air, crystal ball of water, crystal ball of fire. It wanted to meet all of its, all of its brothers and sisters. But how? Let's see what happens. So. They, it had never met its brothers and sisters since they formed, but they were actually, they formed when they were little marbles. Remember that part of the story? But had never met since they were big. They were apart in different areas. And so, Sarit, so it said, will you help me meet my family? And that's what the crystal ball said. And then Sarita said, S I will help you, but what can I do? S you can push me up this hole to the outside. And there began the adventure. You know, Uma's papa said that is exactly what his grandfather horse had learned from his grandfather horse all the way back to Mama Frog, who heard it from the fish, who traveled from the sea to the river, who learned it from the mermaid. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of storytelling. So Sarita pushed and pushed. Show me pushing, push, push the crystal ball. Everybody push, 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 push. Help Sarita push the crystal ball of the earth. And then, ooh, thank you. She pushed the crystal ball with the help of all the kids and the crystal ball saw light for the first time and the sun on it's gold and you know how that feels when the sun is shining on you when you feel kind of cold <gasps> it was such an amazing feeling and the power of this feeling was so strong that from far away the crystal ball of fire felt it too that's why the crystal ball of fire cracked out of the mountain wall and rolled all the way to meet the crystal ball of the earth <gasps> The crystal ball of fire cracked, Papa, it cracked all the way out of the volcano, of the mountain, and it came to meet the crystal ball of the earth. When they touched for the first time, their powers grew to double. 
That's double. Two powers together. Power of earth, power of fire together. What happens? Oh my goodness. Sarita saw the two crystal balls just glowed. They were just glowing. That means light was coming from them. Super ginky. Right, Dahlia? The other animals noticed too. A circle of animals had gathered around. Everyone was amazed. They had never seen anything like this. So more and more animals were coming and seeing this. The crystal balls were shiny and colorful and glowing. Then something even more amazing happened. Can you guess what happened? The power of both of the crystal balls together called the third crystal ball. And the crystal ball, it was the crystal ball of air. The crystal ball of air was high up in a tree and it felt the pull of its family and broke free from the vines that were protecting it up in the tree and it rolled slowly down the tree and it was saying goodbye to each branch, goodbye to each leaf. That was its family, the crystal ball of air. Goodbye to each bird, each insect so dearly and it said, Come visit me in my new home. That's what the crystal ball of air said. Is it said goodbye, goodbye to all the people. And the crystal ball of air became bouncy when it touched the earth. And it was bouncing like a bouncy ball. And it bounced higher and higher with excitement. It see its family for the first time. Because the crystal ball of air is very light and airy. And when the crystal balls finally saw each other, the three, um, they rolled around and around and they were so happy to be together. Three of them was together, but wait a minute. What about the last one? Let's see. By rolling around and around, they started to make a nest in the earth. They were playing with each other, rolling around and around and around. And that's how they made a nest. And all the animals just couldn't believe the other animals. The birds were watching and, and the, the foxes were watching and the bears were watching and, and the mole and the worm and everybody. Well, the worm couldn't watch. But Mr. Mole was telling Mr. Worm what was happening. Oh my goodness gracious. And that was how the nest was formed. And the animals said, well, we want to give a gift to this. You have to sit over there, Papa. You want to give a gift, gift to this new nest. What should we give it? The animals decided to each give a little bit from their bodies to the nest because they felt that that was the right thing to do. And so some of the animals gave a little bit of their soft fur, just a little bit, and they put it in the nest. And other animals gave a little bit of their feathers and they put it in the nest. And then other animals, oh, and then even the flowers said, take some of our petals. And the trees said, take some of our leaves. And little by little, the nest was made. And the animals could feel the power of the three crystal balls and they could feel it in, in themselves. Wow. Sarita felt stronger and happier and all the animals did too. The crystal ball of the earth, the crystal ball of fire, the crystal ball of air told the animals that there was one more crystal ball. There was one more crystal ball to be found. Sarita had promised to help. So she said, I will search for the last crystal ball to unite or bring together the whole family, all the family members right here in our meadow, right here in this nest with fur and feathers and leaves and petals and we just love our nest now and we will protect you and we will take care of you that's what Sarita said and all the animals said that and that is when Sarita asked her friend Nana the monkey do you guys remember Nana the monkey ooh, 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 to find the last crystal ball and bring it back to the nest where were they going to look they knew the last crystal ball would feel its family and want to come just like the others did. And that's the end of the story for today. But guess what? I am going to read you more on Monday. So remember, today is Friday and Monday comes after Saturday, Sunday, we stay home. Let's sing the song together, ready? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday too. 
Thursday, Friday, go to school. Saturday, Sunday, we stay home. Monday, back to school we go. Wait a minute, you're home right now. What happened? Just for a little while, and then we'll all be back together again. So I wanted to say goodbye. Can you say goodbye to the kids? Goodbye. Goodbye. Did you guys like that story? Did you like your art project and your yoga? I hope so. That was a whole hour plus of some really fun stuff. And remember, you could watch this video again if your parents say okay. And I'll be back on Monday. Yes. I organized all of these stuff. What? Mr. Man, while I was reading, named Martine, he organized all of these cards in order. Isn't that wonderful? Do you remember what we did today? One, two, remember, wake up Mr. Worm, three. Thank you, Martine, that's very kind of you. Four is the frog, that's Sachi. Five is the stick, remember that one? Six was what? Howl at the moon? Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. Yep, the snake. Oh no, six is the snake, my apologies. And seven was Howl at the Moon. Eight was our downward dog, and Martine liked to do with a chair sometimes, remember that? Mm -hmm. And then we're going to sit a little bit down and pull, pull, pull with our hands. That's the tiger. And then we're going to clap our hands and then go up, 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 spray our water. And number 11, reach up to the sky. And number 12, down, 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 like stairs, I am love. I am love, namaste. And so that was 12 pieces of yoga that we did today. And we love you all very much and have a wonderful day and see you Monday, bye.